Moonbyo, be showing off some skin. Yo, usually if you know like Moonbyo's personality, she's not one to show off skin. Wait, that was so loud. Wow. It has like that sultry soothing vo tone. Okay, so whenever you see Moonbyul in a suit, that is when you know you are going to get the best out of her because anything she does in a suit is just... I love that girl. Ooh! High notes, weed? Okay! Oh, oh, okay. Okay, we got a little booty shake there from Hwasa. Booty twerk or whatever it's called. Jeez! Oh, but as I mentioned, suit Moonbyul is like top notch for me. Come on. Come, come on. Come on. There's a reason why I love this girl, in particular, from the group. Oh, Hwasa, 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 you cannot do that to us. Oh, that was really smooth. That was really nice. Be myself. Oh, the ending was really like, ooh. Like, I got a little chill from that last little ending, like, be myself part. That was nice. Good morning, everyone. It's Tony. So today, Mamumu has released a, I believe it's a single? titled Wanna Be Myself. This is actually, I've looking through the channel, actually the first time we're gonna be reacting to a full Mamamoo actual work because we uh, did not yet react to Hip or Go Go Baby. And those are really the only two songs that I know from like the actual like current Mamamoo sound that I've kind of missed out on. But we have definitely reacted to a lot of like their solo projects. So we reacted to Hua Says Maria. We reacted to Moonbyo. I keep on saying Moonstar, but it's actually Eclipse. I keep on making that mistake. Then we also reacted to Solar's uh, comeback as as well as other projects that Hwasa has been featured on or collaborated on, particularly maybe like One We in Q, and then also Dua Lipa. Those will all be found in the playlist that I will be linked in the description box for you guys, as well as the comments. So if you want to go check out some more Mama Moo reactions from me, you can feel free to go check them out there. They are quite a lot of fun. I always do really, really find myself enjoying a lot of the collaborations, a lot of the works that Mama Moo members do, so both solo as well as as a group. So this is really going to be a great time for me to finally get to react to some actual group Mamamoo and without further ado guys let's get into it this is Mamamoo's Wanna Be Myself. Jumbi, ready? She check! Let's go. Okay so this I actually saw in the opening it's quite cool to start off with Hwasa and the beat. This beat is very interesting. Moonbyo be showing off some skin. Yo, usually if you know like Moonbyo's personality, she's not one to show off skin. There's like even an episode I think where like on a V Live or something, Hwasa tells her to like try out one of her outfits because we know that Hwasa has a bit more of like the racier, edgier style. And then Moonbyo just like can't go out to wear it. Like even though it's like a short like mini skirt type of dress. So pretty crazy that she's like actually wearing like um like an exercise like a uh, top. Wait, that was so loud. Wow. That's a lot of autotune there. We in? Okay. Wow, We in looks really pretty. Really pretty here. We in actually is the only member, if you check the playlist, is the only member I have yet to do a solo project uh, reaction for. So this is kind of like, I guess, me finally getting to react to some We in also. Okay, so nothing too new because we're reacting to Solar are usually open to the song. Okay. I that's that's nice. I haven't really heard having uh Sola Hwasa one back to back, both of them singing, because usually Hwasa kinda does more of like the rapping for the group. So nice to hear her vocals because she is also a very talented vocalist. If it wasn't already apparent already from like uh her other projects like from Dua Lipa, from One Week's Q, from also like Maria, obviously. Really nice. It has like that sultry, soothing vo tone. Ooh, we in? She's keeping up. Yo, definitely making it her own right there. So what I found really surprising about this, I realize I'm pausing quite a bit, is that there are three of them sang right now. Usually they don't do all three of them back to back. They'll usually use maybe one or two and then lead into the chorus and then have the rap portion then have another vocalist come in. So quite surprising and definitely interesting because if you listen very carefully, the tones are very different. But if you weren't to say, listen to this with the music video, there would be a possibility that you think that the same person is singing all three things. That's like kind of, they have a similar tone tone in this music in this song but it's definitely different and you can definitely hear it more clearly if you really pay attention to it well Hossa's voice is just super unique though I think 
Ooh. Oh, Moonbill doing like a bit of like a rap. Oh. Okay, so whenever you see Moonbill in a suit, that is when you know you are going to get the best out of her because anything she does in a suit is just. I love that girl. We did really smooth. Ooh, high notes win? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, we got a little booty shake there from Hwasa, booty twerk or whatever it's called. Jeez. Very, very interesting. Be myself. Okay, so I know that Moonbill is starting. I really don't want to pause here, but I think that it has to be mentioned that the lyrics of this song, it's kind of like, uh, want to be myself, it doesn't matter. I think some portion, I think this is really talking about like a body image type of um, confidence type of music video. You see them in like sport outfits, kind of like sporty wear, and that's usually where like people are more self-conscious, I would say. The lyrics themselves are very much like, I think empowering of saying like bo self, like body image. So I think it's a good message that they're saying, even like the, just the lyrics itself, like the chorus itself is wanna be myself, makes a lot of sense that you wanna just like empower people, show them that they are okay to be themselves and you don't have to be ashamed of who you are or what you look like so very nice uh message i think that they're trying to send here oh but as i mentioned suit mute is like top notch for me like like i like like come on come on come on there's a reason why i love this girl in particular from the group i thought that i don't like all of them Wien has really impressed me though, like with her vocals, it has like a deeper tone, like a very, like a deepness that kind of like matches a bit that of like Hwasa's, but it's definitely a bit higher, but she can also hit the high notes and have like a higher pitch. So she has definitely like a greater range, I think, from what I've actually heard so far. Look at you, okay. Wasa really be looking fine in that outfit. No, be myself. Oh, okay, so Sola is doing now Wien's part that she'd before. Ah, it's, I respect myself. Yeah, so it's definitely, I think they're talking about body image here. Really, I think like an idea of song to like empower people for their self body image. Okay. I don't know if it's reading into too much, but I think that like if you look at it, each member has a different room. So you have Sora with the pink room, uh, then you have Wien with the green room. Hwasa has the blue room, if I can find it, yes. And then Moonbyeol has the yellow room with like, I guess you would say a bit of uh, green. I think each one of these rooms kind of like represents a different personality because if you know like maybe the MBTI test, which is kind of like very popular right now going around in Korea, it's been popular for quite a while. Each like personality does have a different color characteristic to it. And I think they're kind of like associating that with each personality and showing that each personality, even though they're very different, like each one has a different type of fashion on top of that. Each one looks different. Each one has a different style, but each one is very much the same in terms of like the fact that they all want to push push this idea of like body image maybe this is me reading a bit too too much in the like actual setting of it but i thought felt like maybe there's a reason behind why each one is in a different colored background obviously for aesthetics it looks really nice but i think that there's more to it than just that oh there we go all right Oh, we're gonna get some nice soda. I know it's. I I know it. Ooh, that was nice. Imagine if she like sustained it. That would have been really nice. Oh, 
Hoasa, Hoasa, Hoasa. You cannot do that to us. You had that really nice, like, little uh, fade. Oh, that was really smooth. That was really nice. All these four girls are so talented. Women, sorry, women. Marcel. Oh, the ending was really like, ooh. Like, I got a little chill from that last little ending, like, be myself part. That was nice. That was a nice, like, fade off into the ending, which was a really nice song. Total. Like, the whole song is very, very nice. I really heavily enjoyed it. I really appreciate kind of, like, the message, I think, that they're trying to uh, push forward. The idea of be a body image, being yourself, just not caring, really, who kind of, like, uh, looks at you, who, like, what you, like, associated image-wise. Because I think that really, the at the end of the day, it's you, yourself, who's looking at yourself every day day who can judge yourself what your own value is and at some points i realize that sometimes you don't feel the most confident but you can definitely look to this song listen to this song for kind of like morale boost and like just sh understand that like things will get better things will get easier and i think that that's like really what this song is trying to embody being happiness being that like you can be who you are and it will be okay everything will be fine i really enjoyed and really appreciate i think the message overall that we're trying to like get across here because definitely it's i really do you feel that they're trying to push something at least with want to be myself definitely something with image definitely something with self-confidence maybe i'm reading a bit too too much in certain aspects of this but i really do think that this is a really nice message really great song too it's a different beat in terms of Mamamoo that I've heard, it's different from Go Go Baby. It's different from Hip. It's less poppy. It's kind of like almost a bit more kind of like retro feeling esque, a bit more older school style, and that kind of does match with the aesthetics also. But at the same time, we get to hear so many nice vocals of all the members, and then you have the nice rapping also, the very fast, fluid, smooth rapping, not very hard hitting, but it's smooth and it fits in this entire song really heavily enjoyed it overall really great song and i am so impressed by all of the vocalists especially Wien in particular just because i haven't heard her yet so finally getting a chance to look at her blows my mind even more that this group did not receive as much attention back in the day until recently when they kind of like popped off and i'm just really impressed by this entire group because everybody is super talented everybody's super skilled very visually appealing and overall just a great great group and a great song and finally got to react to some actual official group mamamoo so very happy about that and hopefully you guys did enjoy this video reaction thank you so much for watching gamsamida and as always if you have any comments questions or something you want to talk feel free to leave in the comment section below and i'll get to it as soon as possible with that being said guys this has been tony and goodbye and i'll see you in the next video